Hey everyone, welcome to another Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday. This is Town Survival Test, a microworld that we use to fix combat bugs and tune combat difficulty. It has a small group of hearthlings, regular monster raids, all the equipment in the game gated by level, and beds so that people can rest between raids. This week, our whole team has been focused hard on making monsters satisfyingly challenging, so for this week's Desktop Tuesday, let's take a closer look at how this happens. At its root, combat tuning involves pitting a group of hearthlings against a group of monsters and adjusting the monsters until they are just hard enough to provide a decent challenge. But what is an appropriate group of hearthlings, and what does decent challenge mean? The first part of that answer lies here, in a much less colorful, but just as important file, the town model spreadsheet. In town model, we made a guesstimate as to how many hearthlings the average player would get each day on normal mode, how many of those would be combat units, and what level those units would be. Based on our own experiences playing the game, we decided that the Game Master should introduce new levels of challenge every 4 or 5 days to keep the player interested. Based on the fact that you can get up to 50 hearthlings through the settings mode, we divided the raids into 7 bands, easy, medium, hard, and epic 1 through 4. Each type of raid is matched with a small range of town sizes. Tuning is then a matter of populating the test town with a group of people that mostly matches the model, pitting it against a raid we think would be a challenge for it, and letting the simulation run to see what happens. Our original goal was that for normal mode, a raid of appropriate difficulty should injure at least one hearthling in town by at least a quarter heart, so that players would know to create an herbalist or risk losing a unit after three or four days of encounters. The first thing we learned, back at the beginning of the alpha, was that hearthling hit points had too much variance. People with low body scores died immediately, which was no fun, and people with high body scores never seemed to take any damage, which was no fun either. To fix this, we took the average hearthling health score, which was about 50, and made this the floor, and reduced the impact of body score by about half. This means that even low body score hearthlings can survive a few hits from low level enemies, giving you time to react tactically to encounter by hitting the town alert button. We also gave monsters, in general, more hit points and less damage per attack, also to help make combats last longer and be less abrupt. Another thing we learned is that equipment had a huge impact on whether combat units survived enemy attacks. Low-level footmen with good gear were surviving attacks that killed high-level footmen with bad gear. To help normalize this, we gave equipment level restrictions, so only high-level knights can equip high-level armors. Because our combat model expects combat units to have the best armor available to them, armor is still incredibly important, but the reduced variance in damage reduction makes it easier to tune raids to stress, but not overburden, your town. Halfway through Alpha 16, we also added hard mode. This created all new spreadsheet challenges. Yang estimated that hard mode players would be much more experienced, and thus better, at gaining people. She played the game a bunch, ran some numbers, and came up with various mathematical coefficients that describe how hearthling acquisition changes in hard mode. She also gave all the monsters in hard mode a tunable numeric buff to damage, and reduced the number of days that pass between one tier of encounters and another by tunable number. Finally, she upped the expected percent of combat units in each town, from 20% in normal mode to 40% in hard mode. All these things together, plus lots of trial and error, result in a normal mode that has some forgiveness built into it. You can make a mistake and recover within 3-4 to four days, and a hard mode where one mistake can mean the loss of a person, or at higher levels, of your whole town. There's a lot more to monster tuning, the extraction of monster tuning files for easy editing and modding, the town model, which now lives separate from the town survival test, again for easy editing, and even the visual design of monsters so that players can learn to tell, at a glance, how hard a raid is going to be. But that's the basics, and that's all that we've got time to cover this week. Let us know how we're doing here in the comments or on our forum at discourse.stonehearth.net. See you next week!